What is up, guys? Big Fish Nation here. I'm your host, Gage Wiegand. And before we start today's fishing portion of the video, I want to show you guys why I've been gone. Why haven't I been posting? Where have I been? Well, watch this. So, why am I showing you these swim baits? And who is John Co? Well, me and a new company called John Co have teamed up and they sent me a whole bunch of their brand new swim baits. They haven't got a name for them yet. These are the prototypes for this John Co Outdoors company. And they want me to test them out and it's my first sponsor. It's pretty cool. They we just teamed up because I I'm new, they're new, and they said I have a lot of potential, so I hope this all works out, and I hope to see you guys in the water, so enjoy this part of the video. Wait, never mind, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I'm not using these baits yet, I will be using these baits in the next video, so be ready for that video, and... Okay, yeah. Now you can enjoy the video. I am back, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. The floodwaters have just went down, and we're going creek fishing. Like even with oh something just popped it. Got it. There we go. Yeah, I got him on the prop bait. Little guy. What I say? Little tiny little large mouth. Tiny little large mouth. Come on now. I don't want to get trouble hooked. Well, right there at the mouth of that, uh, um, right there at the mouth of that lake. There he goes. Alright guys, so the plan is to get on that rock platform over there, get totally soaked, and carry all these poles in my top water box over that platform. So, let's go. Yep, that's cold water in my boots. Really cold. Oh, it gets way deeper than I thought it did. Crap, I need to go. What, it's probably 50 degrees. Yep. Oh, we made it. So we're gonna sit on the box. Hopefully, don't get wet. But uh, let's check out the damage. Shorts are soaked, but it'll be worth it. Oh, got him on the popper. Let's go, boys. What do we got? Stay on there. Step in. Oh, there we go. It's like a nice spot. That's a real nice spot. Get him up. Get him up. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a nice spotted bass. Ooh, I'm trying to stay here. The creek is flooded. So I took that popper and I popped it three times real hard 
and then paused it. Popped it three times real hard, then paused it. Just trying to make a really big splashes and a lot of commotion. And he just crushed it. And the way you could tell the difference between spotted bass is their mouths are much smaller. A large mouthed jaw will go past his eye. And the spotted bass will have more of a smaller mouth. And you can feel his tongue. It feels like sandpaper. And they have spots that go down their sides. So uh, there's a good one and a half, two pound spotted bass. That's pretty nice on a popper. Get the release on this guy. There you go. Whew. Guys, so let's go over my favorite top water. The Gary Yamamoto popper. Or just poppers in general, but the Gary Yamamoto has got to be my favorite popper. And the reason for that being is it's really versatile. Like you can do soft pops or you can do really hard loud pops. And what I really like about this bait is that if the fish start moving, you can almost walk it just like a little spook. Just like that. And that can entice them sometimes. And it comes in a vast amount of colors. It's just a really good bait overall. By far my favorite top water of all time. Not only because it works in creeks, but it can catch you some decent fish and it can get you some really decent blow ups. No, I call him like right there, like way out there. Yeah. Oh, got him. There's a nice one. I think I got another spot. I'll try to get him to stay down. I'll try to get his fight on camera. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty looking spot. Don't shake him, Michael. Don't shake him. Oh, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Let's go. He's fat. On the back hook. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that gut. That is a chunker spotted bass. He's all messed up at the top, though. Look at that. That's a nice spotted bass. I'm gonna get a picture with this one. Just came off of that Gary Yamamoto popper. All right, let's get the release on this brute. It's about the same size as the other one. But man, that is so fun. That top water bite in a creek. Look at him go. Let's get another one. That's fun. Hopefully we can link up on a nice smallmouth. I know there's smallmouth in here about that size. Some of them get a little bigger. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Peace.